This is a short demo of some new features in GB Time Lapse EOS for Canon EOS cameras. Here I'm running GB Time Lapse, and I have three cameras tethered to this computer a Rebel T1i, a T2i, and a 60D. I'm going to connect the T1i to GB Time Lapse. See, so here's in the connected camera list. Here's the tab for controls for time lapse. Here's the tab for controlling the shutter. Down here are the camera settings program mode, shutter speed, and aperture, ISO, etc. On this other tab are some other settings. Here's the image quality, large fine. I'm going to change that to small fine. If your camera is live view, you can go to the live view tab, turn on live view, and you can focus the camera. I'll turn off live view, go back to the images tab, capture an image. Here's the image that was captured and some parameters. Down here some more, some more information about that image. Over here's a histogram. Down here it shows where that image was stored on your hard disk. To do time lapse, I just go to the time lapse tab, set the duration. Here I'm set to three seconds. I can make it anything I want, seconds, minutes, or hours, and start time lapse. A little window comes up showing progress on this time lapse where it's running. It's completed two or three steps. When the next step is okay, while I'm running, I can look at the movie preview and it shows the images I've recorded so far. It plays them back at any speed you like right now. I think it's going about 10 frames per second. I could pause and look at, look back over the images or go forward or just go ahead and play. Make the screen a little bit bigger. Okay, go back to images, and I'm going to stop time lapse. I can take all my settings and save them and set up a program. Here's the setup. We're going to manually connect the camera, auto engage them when they're connected. We can initialize the camera settings or list of aperture and, and speed values that you'd like, uh, where to store the images, how to name them. Uh, when to run the program. Here it's going to run once. It's going to do it immediately when I press the button, and it's going to end manually when I press the other press the button again. Here I'll set it to end after five steps, and we'll go back to time lapse and begin that program. Here the program's running, showing how many steps have been completed. It's just going to go for five. So you can have it run for 300 images or a thousand images or whatever you like. You can have it run. You can also set it up to run every day at a certain time of day or at a time relative to sunset or sunrise and you can have it start stop after a certain amount of time after a number of steps at a relative time like after sunset or after sunrise or at some specific time of day or mainly when you stop it so let's just switch to another camera here let's look at the T2i connected instead okay it's connected and I'll capture an image from it it's a little different than the other shot. Let's go look at the, the 60D. So I've got three cameras connected. Here's the 60D. It's a little different image. That's about that for that. Actually, I can start one camera. Let's go back to the T1. Start doing some time lapse with it. And I'm going to start another copy of GB time lapse at the same time. And with this one, I'm going to connect my T2i. Keep in mind our T1 is recording. And now I'm going to start a time lapse with the T2. So here's our T2. And here's our T1. Watch the movie preview on this one. And watch the movie preview on this one. So I've got two cameras going at the same time with two different instances of GB time lapse. So that's just some of the new features. Please watch part two of this demo.